we are here with the Samsung Galaxy S2. This is a pre production version, although uh, the ID is essentially final. 8 megapixel camera on back with 1080p recording, uh, LED flash, extremely thin, uh, but still manages to pack a battery over 1600 milliamp hours, so that's good. Uh, this is a 4 point, just under 4.3 inch uh, Super AMOLED Plus display, and it is extremely bright, although for the purposes of this video we have the brightness turned all the way down, so you can't get a good sense of that, but trust me when I say that it is extraordinarily bright. Um, this is what Samsung is billing as TouchWiz 4.0. I'm going to show you a cool feature here. Uh, they've essentially brought back the widget drawer, which, which you might remember from very early versions of TouchWiz. If I bring up the widgets here on the home screen, we can get sort of a slider across the bottom that has some cool 3D effects. You can choose what widget you want, and oh, there might not be room on the screen. One second. And come on. It'll let me do it. There we go. And you pick where you want to drop it. Highlights the area that it's going to take up on the screen, which is nice, you know, ahead of time. And boom, there it goes. Uh, there are four hubs uh, that Samsung is installing on this device. Obviously not a stock Google experience. You have Social Hub, Music Hub, Readers Hub, and Game Hub. And unfortunately, we can't demonstrate those for you because they don't have a network connection on this on this prototype here. Uh, but uh, Game Hub is going to allow them to overcome the standard uh, download limit in the Android market. So you can download the entire game up front without having to do a secondary download after you launch the game for the first time. Uh, Reader Hub is, I think, the only one that we can kind of give you a preview of. You see kind of the same experience that um, they've already had on the Galaxy Tab on some other devices. Um, the, the, the wood paneling in the background, sort of a library effect. Uh, feels very fast running Tegra, which is kind of a surprising choice, but a uh, good one considering the performance that we've seen on some other devices. And uh, that's about it. So that is a quick look at the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 launching later this month in, this month in Europe and Asia, and hopefully uh, later in North America, although Samsung hasn't made any announcements yet.